Okay, in this video we're gonna do No Man's Wharf. Um, so this is going to show you all the items in No Man's Wharf. It is also going to show you how to get the item at the end after you beat the Plexile Sentry boss, caught the ship, and went over to Lost Bastille before you actually get to Lost Bastille. There's an item you will see on the way up right in the elevator, and I will show you how to get it. So this is going to be a speed walkthrough. There are no enemies. Um, I already did this area. I've already got all the crap. Um, there's a guy laying on the ground right here. Kill him. Um, he will sneak up behind you. Over to the right, you're going to have a guy that throws gas at you, and you're going to have a guy with a bow that shoots fire. Down here on the ground, you're going to have another guy that's going to be laying there. Um, you're going to want to kill him, and you're also going to have a guy here that's going to jump at you with an axe. They both are the enemies from the forest. Um, up above, you're going to have a chest right over here. You're going to want to open that and get the item. Um, out here you can take out this guy up here that's throwing um, fire or gas at you and you can also grab this corpse. So once you've done that you can either drop off or you can just run back down the stairs. Come out here. The guy over here that's throwing gas at you, you can kill him on the way and then kill the bow guy right here. Take them out. Coming over here you are going to, I believe, there's a corpse in the water. Grab the corpse. Um, you're going to have, I wouldn't grab the corpse right away though because you're going to have a guy that throws gas at you jumping off the top of this house right here. And you're also going to have two more enemies that are going to come out from the houses. Um, inside this house there's a corpse here. The other house, I don't believe there's anything in it, but let me check, um, double check. Okay, there is, there's a corpse right here, so there is. Um, and then on in this one you're going to have a monster thing and you're going to have a corpse also right here once you've done that you'll notice that there's an item up above on top of it i've already got it um, i will show you how to get that in a minute you're going to want to come up here and the strategy i use is i go this way instead of doing dealing with that um, i go this way there's a guy standing right here kill him um, get rid of him behind this table here is another corpse with a ring on it i believe a uh, ring of life protection or something. You're gonna have a guy throwing gas standing right here. You're gonna have another guy right here that's the same type of guy. You're also gonna have another guy over here and a dog that possibly sometimes they'll come at you and sometimes they don't. It just all depends on how you proceed about coming into this area. Um, so there's really nothing in this in here. Um, now the next step, I, the next way I do this is I after I've done these guys and got rid of them. I come down here and there's a dog and a guy that throws gas and kill them. There's going to be two archers up there that shoot fire arrows, um, kill them. Come over here, there's a Pharaoh's arch stone. You're going to want to put the, or Pharaoh's thing, you're going to want to put the Pharaoh's thing in. It'll light this up, making those monster things um, run because they don't like light. And then you can come over here and grab this corpse, which is above that house that we were talking about down below. Grab that, there you go, you got it. Um, next step is going to be to come over here. Um, after you talk to Luca Tilla Mira by the bonfire and ran her storyline thing out, you are going to be able to meet up with her here soon. Um, however, you're going to have to open the shortcut first, so we'll pretend it's not open. Here's a chest here. And then you're going to want to come up here. There's, be careful because there's three guys in this room. When you first enter this room, you're going to have a guy sitting at this table and two guys at this table. The way that I recommend doing this is come in, backstab this guy, get rid of him and then take this guy down and then worry about the third guy last and then as you're coming up these stairs another guy will jump down behind you from right there and sometimes he don't but most of the time he does he'll be if he if he doesn't he'll be standing right here kill him there's a chest behind him right here um, I think I destroyed the chest yeah I did I destroyed that chest up here you're gonna have the two archers kill this one and then come over here and kill this one this will be locked. You won't be able to open it. That's the shortcut. Um, we will get to that in a minute. Um, we're going to pretend like it's not open. Now, you're going to come up here. And when you come up here, you're going to have three of those monster things. Um, the first one's going to be right about here. Kill it. And then there's going to be another one standing right here. Kill it. And then another one standing over here. Kill it. Um, after you've killed them, there's a corpse right here that has an miracle called Emit Force. Um, grab that. And then come in here. There's going to be four or more of them monster things in here originally. This will be a door and they won't be able to see you right away. 
open the door and then get them to break the wall down kill the one right here then there'll be another one in the corner over here and there'll be one up above right up above this hole you can kill all three of them from down here and then there'll be another one in the corner over here that's going to be standing right here so kill all four of them come in here you'll have two chests grab this grab this i believe this one was a trap um, with poison so be cautious uh get ready to jump back there'll be the guy that will be standing here gavlin or whatever his name is that buys stuff from you and sells you poison items um get, do whatever you need to with him come over this way there's nothing in this there's nothing in here at all that's pointless um, come over here there'll be a guy standing in the corner right here get ready to attack him kill him come up here there'll be another one ready to attack you he'll be standing right here he's gonna come at you kill him come up here now you're gonna be ready to pull the switch to bring the ship over come over here pull this that'll bring the ship um, to you so as you can see it says pull I don't know what will happen if I pull it again there's a corpse right here grab it um, then come down drop right here you're gonna want to come through here come down here there's gonna be two of them or there's gonna be a corpse right here and then there's going to be two of the monster things in here, one right here and one over here. If you stand back instead of just coming down and trying to fight it, um, you can hit it with magic from right here and take that one out. And then you can come down and take the other one out um, without a problem. So you shouldn't have any problems there. Now, coming this way, there's nothing over there, but you're going to want to come down here um, and then drop down here. In this room to your left, there's going to be two guys sitting at a table. Be cautious with them. They will not, uh, they don't play around. So you're going to want to be cautious because they will fuck you up real quick. Um, I'm going to get poisoned. I don't really care. I'm going to break all this shit. Now, when you first come into this room, the wall is going to be a, a it's not going to look like that. It's not going to be open. So you're going to have a, a corpse back here, but you got to be cautious because you will get poisoned. And grab that corpse, grab that chest, break the wall. As you can see, there's a crystal lizard standing right about here. It'll take off running over here, kill it, grab this corpse, grab this chest, um, grab this corpse, grab that corpse, and then you're done in that room. That's all four items. You're going to come out here. Once you've grabbed all that, um, there's nothing over here. And then your next step is going to be to open the shortcut. So you're going to want to come over here, open this door. There's no enemy right here, so don't worry about it. There's a secret wall right here. You press X and it'll open the wall. Um, on Xbox, I don't know what you press. There's a chest here. I believe it's large titanite shards and one contains arrows. Um, there's two chests in the room. So grab both of them. That's your secret entrance right there. Um, there's another secret entrance here. There's two of them. Um, there's a guy that's going to be standing right here. Attack him, kill him, get the shortcut open. And then once you get that open, you can come over here, pull this lever. It'll open, as you can see, the loop. Pull it, it'll open the shortcut. Now, once you've done that, if you talk to Luca Tillamira, her sign will appear right here. You can summon her for the boss. I would recommend doing that after you've killed the enemies, so that she does, so she has her full life. Especially if you're going for the trophy, because you're going to want to keep her alive, um, so that you can get the, because you have to keep her alive through three boss battles in order to get her gear. So you want to try to minimize any damage to her before the Plexile Sentry boss. Um, after you've done that. I could have swore there was another secret entrance here. Maybe I'm mistaken. Or no, there, we already covered them both. Never mind. Um, the one was the wall that you chopped down right there, and the other one was the one I just showed you. So those are both the secret entrances. There are no more. Um, once you've done all that, come down here. You're going to have two monsters in here. One's going to be right here. One's going to be right here. However, with the lights on, they're going to probably be standing over here in the shade because they hate the light. So that's the whole purpose of it. It makes it easier to fight them because they, they, they try not to come out into the light. Um, making it easier you're gonna have a guy standing right here or sitting kill him and then you're gonna have two guys hanging off the side of this ledge one right here and one right here I'd recommend walking just in front of this one get it to start coming up back up kill it and then go after the other one that way you're not getting dual t dual team um, once you've done that this is your shortcut back to where you are going and I was just seeing things I almost thought there was a guy climbing up um, this will if you drop down right here, it'll take you back over there and you're safe. You you won't die So that's your shortcut back to the bonfire um, Over here is gonna be your sorcerer, but he's not here on mine because I've already talked to him run his line out And he's back in Majula, but he will be sitting right here and he will sell you sorceries So you're gonna want to talk to him um, uh, And then he'll appear at Majula 
So I will show you before I quit this video. I will take. I will go back to Majula and show you where he's located before doing the video for Lost Bastille. Now coming up here with a ship, you want to be cautious because you're going to have two bow guys that shoot fire arrows and you're going to have two guys on the ground uh, to your right. So you're going to want to come up here first, take this guy out, he'll be standing right about here, take him out, He's a, he shoots fire arrows. Um, and then from up here, if you do it quick enough, if you kill him instantly with a soul spear or something, you can take the other two guys out from up here before they can even touch you. And then after you've taken them out, um, come over here. And there'll be a fire arrow shooting dude right here. Kill him. Once you've done that, you've completely uh, cleared the area. You're going to want to come down here. And this is going to take you to the Plexile Sentry boss. Um, there are no items, no nothing here. So don't worry about breaking all this shit or anything like that because there's no chest. Um, it's all junk. Coming in here, this is the Plexile Sentry boss's room. Um, he's easy to beat. As long as you just keep your distance, he will try to rush you. Um, once you once you've killed him and completed him, <coughs> you're gonna come this way, up here. Before you come over here, you'll you'll notice this says examine. Before you do that, I mean you can always come back, but I would recommend before you do that, come over here get this chest. It has a great fire or it has a fireball and something else, uh, pyromancy. I think it's a pyromancy glove or something. Then you're gonna want to examine this. This is going to go into a cutscene, which I'm gonna skip. Um, we're going to really quick do the last part of the still, then I'm going to travel back. Um, there's the cutscene. Skip the cutscene. You'll appear on a dock on the other end over by the Lost of the Still. Okay, now that you're over here, as you can see, don't walk this way. It's facing this way, but do not walk that way. You will die. You'll fall off into the water and be gone. Because, as you know, you can't swim. So, anyway, when you get in here, you'll notice that if you look around, um, I believe it's right here. I'm trying to, trying to see. You'll see an item, a corpse, that you um, will want to get. I'm trying to think of where it was at. Okay, maybe you can't. Um, but on the elevator, you will see a corpse. Now, you're going to want to pull this elevator down. And on the way up, you are going to see a corpse. However, you're going to wonder, how do I get that corpse? You know, just like I did. You know, I put a lot of hours into figuring stuff out. That's probably the reason I'm still on New Game Plus instead of further on. Um, that's part of the reason I do my soul farming and killing all the enemies is so I have time to explore the whole area and find all the secrets. Um, this one took a, a while to figure out because it's kind of confusing because when you get in the elevator and you're going up and you're looking towards the door, you can see the hole in the top above the door there, but you can't get through it. And as you can see, there's an item right there. Well, you may wonder, okay, how do I get that? I and mean, is there a secret passage? What do I do? You know, how do I do it? Because it doesn't if the the answer is not obvious before we do that you're going to come in here um since you're already up here there is nothing in this or there's a corpse in this room and the other room um there's another room over here and this one doesn't have a corpse just the one does it's a soul of a brave warrior if i'm not mistaken now that you've got that come in here hit that really quick let the elevator close get the hell out of it and get on top of it as it's going down you're going to want to walk onto the top and get ready to do this. So, now that you're on top of the elevator, that item that you saw, you'll be able to get it. Just by doing this and fall in. Um, the item is really, from what I heard, not worth anything. It's a scimitar and repair powder. I mean, if that's really worth it to you, go ahead and get it. But, it's nothing important. And there's no secret passages or anything up here. As you can see, there is a hole to fall through. That'll bring you back down by the elevator. Now that you've got that, you have all the items in this area. And now, like I said, I'm going to take you on a real quick 
detour. Um, we're going to go up to Las Mastillo, fast travel to Majula, and I'll show you where the sorcerer appears in Las Majula. Because he is kind of hidden, and if you're not paying attention, you won't see him. I came back the first time I ever lost him, and um, he wasn't here. And I was looking for him because I needed to buy some more sorceries off him uh, first playthrough. And he wasn't in he wasn't in No Man's Warp, and I was like, okay, where the hell did he go? And I didn't see him in Majula when I was just wandering around, so it sucked. Um, anyway, on the way up here, look to your left. You're gonna have an open door on, I believe it's the third, or it's either on no, it's on your right. It's the third door up. Right here is gonna be two um, poison things. I don't remember what they're called, um, but they cure poison. And then here's your first bonfire for Lost Bastille. Now we're going to travel to Majula and go show where the sorcerer is. And then I'm going to quit this video and start on the next video for Lost Bastille. I mean, I'm trying to record in high definition, but my other phone is being a joke um, right now. Maybe I need to put switch my sim card from this one or not sim card um storage card sd ram um over from this one to the other one or something so that i can um do something but anyway your sorcerer he's gonna appear up here and then we're gonna end this video once i talk to him um if you talk to him uh, eventually he's gonna give you a pyromancy flame or something um and he also sells as you can see he sells an infinity of all this so you can buy as many of these as you want like if i wanted to buy 48 great heavy solar arrows i could I mean, 73 of those, you know, it's 109 of those, 84 of those, 122 of those, I can buy 48 of those, 109 of those, 73 great arrows, you're never going to need those, so what's the point, you know, um, he also sells, as you can see, I've already bought everything, he, he sells amber herbs, he sells twilight herb and one simpleton spice, I already bought it. And then he sells these rings, but I don't need them. Um, I actually got a clear bluestone ring plus one off of an enemy, so I definitely don't need that. Um, and then he sells the sorcerer's catalyst. One day, like he also he will also help you to upgrade your pyromancy flame, just like she does. Um, you know, she does the same thing. So that's the this is this is the girl that you freed on the way to Shaded Woods when you had to open that door, the first door. She is the one that was standing there, Ben Hart of Jugo. When you freed her, she came here. So this is where she is. That just solves all that. Um, anyway, we're going to head to Lost Bastille. And I am going to end this video, upload it, and start the next. So good luck, and I hope that helps you. Let me get this going. Um, we're going to start at the Lost. There we go. So.